Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my hair, which is, by the way, when it comes to all the beauty stuff, my favorite thing. I love dyeing my hair, I love even growing it out, I love styling my hair. I'm just having fun with my hair. And I got it that light recently, this white blonde, and I thought it would be great to share this with you guys so that you know how I did it in a very safe way without any damage. So if you want to know more about that, then please keep watching. There are a couple of things I think I should mention at the beginning. First of all, my natural color is a darker shade of blonde, somewhere around level 7. Second, my hair was blonde to begin with. I've been dyeing my hair ashy blonde in the last few years. I don't remember how many, but it was blonde for a while. And also, I've been dyeing my hair light purple with semi-permanent hair dyes since last fall. And last month I have decided to let it go. I felt like that's too much work and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. I wanted to go back to blonde. So for the last month I've been fading the last purple shade that I had in my hair. I used mostly this shampoo Scenic from Lush, which has sea salt in it. And it is known that sea salt helps fading semi-permanent hair dyes. I have been also using the Shampoo 3 by Paul Mitchell, however, I don't really see much of a difference. I feel like they do exactly the same thing, but Scenic has no silicone in it, so this is definitely my personal preference. And also, it is also a little bit less expensive because I paid something around 15 euros for the bottle of the Shampoo 3, and this is, I think, like 9.90 or something like that. But a little bit goes a long way, so this is probably also better for your wallet. Now, let me tell you, fading a semi-permanent hair dye can be a real bitch, especially when you're fading something like purple, because purple uh, fades very often over green or blue. And I had so many weird shades in my hair already, it was not necessarily the most attractive look. And I have decided to speed the whole process a little bit up, which I have done with vitamin C powder and dandruff shampoo. I have a video about how I removed semi-permanent hair dye from my hair with baking soda and dandruff shampoo, which I will link down below. You are very welcome to watch it because the process is exactly the same process that I have done with the vitamin C powder. However, I highly recommend using vitamin C powder instead of baking soda because I have noticed a huge difference afterwards. When I used the baking soda mixture, my hair was extremely dry afterwards. And now when I use like about half of this canny of vitamin C powder with dandruff shampoo, the color faded as much as it did with the baking soda mixture. However, my hair didn't feel dry afterwards actually at all. So highly recommend using rather vitamin C powder. If you can get vitamin C powder, you can always use vitamin C tabs. Simply put them in a plastic bag or like a Ziploc bag and crush them until they're pulverized and it will work just as well. So after the first time I've done that, my hair was already much lighter. I waited about three days and the next time when I was about to wash my hair, I have repeated the procedure and then my hair was light enough so I was ready to bleach the roots and to take care of the length. I applied coconut oil on my entire hair four hours prior to bleaching my roots, which is supposed to protect my hair a bit. And then I mixed the whole bottle of the high-end developer, which is a 20 volume developer, with the whole jar of the white fire bleaching powder. I applied the mix on my regrowth. I always try to apply the mixture only on the hair that has grown out, because I want to avoid any overlapping. I let the bleach sit for 90 minutes in total. It might sound like a really long time to leave bleach on, however, it says so on the bottle of the developer that you can leave it on for up to 90 minutes. So I'm always following the instructions on the packaging. Before the time was over, I did a bleach wash on the rest of my hair to lighten it up and to get rid of some unwanted shades. I will link a video by Jade Madden in the description box because it was her formula I followed and I left the bleach wash on for 20 minutes. 
Then I washed my hair and this is how it looked like. I applied Olaplex 3 on the lengths of my hair and silver shampoo on the freshly bleached root area. And then I lathered the shampoo on my entire hair. I washed it out and followed with a deep conditioning treatment and then I styled my hair the way I always do. And this is how my hair looked like once it was air dried. So this is my new hair color. Well, and that's how I got this ice queen or Khaleesi hair or whatever you want to call it. I am so excited about this color. I feel so comfortable in this color. I don't think I ever felt that happy with any hair shades that I ever had in my entire life. It makes me super happy and I'm so excited that I can share this with you guys. Anyway, um, I think if I had used the 20 volume developer also for the bleach bath, the last few inches might have gotten also a little bit lighter. They are a little bit darker than the rest of the hair. However, I thought better safe than sorry. So I rather used the 10 volume developer because I didn't want to do any damage because mostly the ends are very porous and I'm growing my hair out. So I wanted to make sure that I don't have to chop anything. Also, it's just the last few inches and at some point I will get a trim. So this is going to be gone anyway at some point. So that's why I chose the weaker developer. The white fire bleach is for me personally the best bleach I have ever had. Ever since I've been using this product, I don't want to use anything else because it works so great. It gets my hair super light only with 20 volume developer. It is cruelty free and vegan. And it's also the perfect amount because when I mix these two, this is exactly the amount of bleach that I need for my roots. And there's always a little bit extra if I want to put something around my face or if I want to add somewhere a little bit. So there is basically no downside for me. Also, in the past, when I've been dyeing my hair, I've been always using at least 30 volume developer, sometimes even 40 volume, which was way harsher on my hair. So I'm really impressed how well this product works with only 20 volume, which is definitely gentler to my hair. Now it says here, you can leave it in for up to 90 minutes. I have very strong hair, so I definitely need the 90 minutes because the hair needs to get light first and then the bleach is neutralizing the yellowish and orangey shades. But if your hair is rather finer or if you're not sure, I would suggest leave it on for like half an hour and then keep checking every like five or 10 minutes. And once you get the results that you wanted, wash this out. There's no need to leave this product on longer than necessary. The maintenance is very easy. At some point I will have to retouch my roots, but that's something I've been doing anyway. Only I had a little bit different shade. I usually dye my roots once a month, only now I have a product where I know I'm going to get them that white immediately. And about every other time when I'm washing my hair, I'm using a silver shampoo. Sometimes more often, sometimes I skip a few washes. It depends on how my hair is currently looking. If there is some buildup from the silver shampoo, then I might skip a few washes and uh, wash my hair only with this shampoo and when I feel like I want to neutralize some shades then I would use the purple shampoo again and that's pretty much it. If you want to know more about the styling products and hair care products I will link my last video down below where I've been talking about all the products that I'm currently using and that's it for today. If you have any questions you are of course welcome to write them down below in the comments. I will link down below in the description box the white fire bleaching powder and the developer and also my silver shampoos that I'm currently using and as I said the video about my hair care products and I hope that this video has been helpful if that was the case don't forget to give the video a thumb up because that really helps the channel you can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet and I will link down below also all of my Instagram accounts my other channels you will find also down below some discount codes that I have currently for you guys. There are a few affiliate links and I will think of a few videos and playlists that might be interesting for you and I will link them also down below. And the music that I've been using in today's video is also listed down below. So description box, that's the place to be. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye.